Hi, Jeremy. Hi. Thank you for coming in today. Yeah, absolutely. I really appreciate you volunteering to be a model for my art class. I'm going to be doing a um, sculpture clay bust, uh, and I'm taping this for my teachers so they know that I'm doing the measurements right and everything. Cool. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to be using some tools, taking some measurements, and it's going to really help me out to get my sculpture done for my project. So if anything feels uncomfortable, just let me know, and um, otherwise we'll just treat this like a real professional setting, okay? Sounds great. Cool. Um, so I'm first just going to hang up a piece of paper I'm going to use to mark your measurements. Cool. Okay, so I'm going to start out by using uh, just a comb. I'm just going to put your hair back so I can see the full features of your face, okay? Gonna push these pieces back too so we can get the face fully exposed. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Um, the next tool I'm gonna use are called calcipers. Um, essentially, they just measure from point A to point B. So I'll uh, take them out, um, adjust them before I put them on your face so I'm not poking you at all. Um, and then uh, if it does get too close or uncomfortable, just give me a shout, okay? Sounds good. Okay. So the first measurement I'm going to be doing is going to be just this uh, from the bottom of your earlobe to the other side, okay? So I think that's about right. I'm just going to touch gently. Okay. And I've got to record this measurement here as number one. Now I'm going to do from your earlobe on this side to uh, the base of your nose right there to that nair. I'm just going to check that against the other side to make sure it's symmetrical and note that if, it, if it's not. And it's perfectly symmetrical, so that will be the same for both sides. Um, so that's actually two and three. Excellent. Um, now I'm going to measure from the corner of your mouth to your earlobe. Just a little wider. I'm just going to come around here and I'm going to check it against the other side. So. And that's perfectly symmetrical. Um, so I'll mark that, but while I'm over here, I'm going to go ahead and get from the top of your ear to the corner of your eye. So gently close your eyes for me, please. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Make sure that's symmetrical from the ear lid. Okay, yeah, that's great. Okay. I'm going to be measuring from uh, this corner of this lip to the corner of that lip. So, make these a little smaller.
So now I'm going to be doing eye to eye. So again, could you close your eye for me? I'm going to do the exterior of each eye. So we're gently placing. Now I'm going to do from the inner lid, inner eyelid to inner eyelid. So again, close your eyes for me. I'm going to go nice and gentle. I'm going to measure out here and then place it in to check. Good. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and check from the outside of each nose, the outside of each nair to the other one. So just look straight ahead for me. So you can come around to the other side. Good. Thank you. Shift it just a little bit. Uh, now I'm going to grab from uh, the where your hairline hits right here to the other side. Okay. Um, and I'm going to do your eyebrows as well. So from the corner of one eyebrow to the other corner, and then I'm going to do the inside as well. Side corner. Okay, I'm going to move down to the bottom part uh, now that I've gotten a full face. Um, starting with your neck, I'm just going to go um, from the side of your neck to the other side of your neck, and it should be around the same spot. So I'm just going to feel really quickly. I'm going to try for right here. And although these look, may look quite sharp, as you hopefully know, um, they're, they're very dull, so there should not be any pain there. Okay. Next, I'm going to get from the clavicle to clavicle. and the bone on both sides. Then I'm going to measure from your shoulder to that inside right where your neck starts here. from that on the other side. It's actually just a tiny bit smaller on this side, so I'm just going to adjust that. I'm just going to take two final measurements. I'm just going to get a chest distance. So it's going to be from the inside of your arm there to the inside of your arm here. Okay. Good. And now I'm just going to get up from the neck down to the chest. And lastly, just from the top of the chin to where the neck falls. Okay. All right. 
So that's all 20 of our measurements with the caliper. I just want to get a measurement around circumference a couple of places. So you can just sit up nice and tall. I'm just going to get around your neck here, right where the Adam's apple is. Okay. I'm also going to do it right underneath your chin, all around your head. I'm going to start from the back here. Next is going to be right above, so right below your nose. Good. And get one across to your forehead. And lastly, I'm just going to get one around the circumference of your chest. Good. Okay, so that's all your measurements done. Um, the last thing I want to do is get a couple of skin impressions. Um, this is going to help me get the texture of your skin really right, so it feels more realistic, okay? Cool. And um, use a very sophisticated product for this. It's a tape, <laughs> um, but it actually works really well. We found that you know, it gets a really good impression and it's very easy. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that now. And if it, again, it, I'll be really careful putting it on and off. I'm just going to take a few samples. First one I'm going to take is from your forehead, and I'm going to be careful not to get any hair in that because that would be a little bit more painful. I'm going to peel it off slowly now. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, great. I got to go to repression there. I'm just going to go ahead and put that down gently. Actually, I contaminated that one, so I'm going to make another one. This one I'm just going to go ahead and get from your nose. I'm going to gently peel it off now. Good. And the last one I'm just going to get from the side of your cheek, and that should be all the sections of your face. I'm just avoiding that hair. Great texture. Okay, wonderful. Um, before I go, do you mind if I just take a couple of quick photos to have for uh, for reference? Yeah, absolutely. Amazing. Thank you. I'm just gonna go ahead and look straight ahead.
And this looks like it looks right ahead. Okay. So I think that's everything I need from you today. I'm really excited to work on the sculpture for class. Yeah, and that's awesome. uh, yeah, I'll definitely send you pictures when it's done. Thank you so much for volunteering. Absolutely.